hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we will check step by step process of kafka installation on windows 10 so basically kafka is open source stream processing software platform comes under apache software foundation and its current stable version is like 3.2.0 which is released on may 17 2020 so for this i am referring my blog so blog link is provided into video description so in the previous session like we have seen like uh, what are the kafka use cases and how uh, what are the core concepts of kafka so you can check uh, this link and uh, you can check the previous video also yeah so basically just we will uh, brief summarize the uh, previous session about the, what is kafka so kafka is a, so a software platform which is based on distributed streaming process and uh, which is the publisher subscriber based messaging system which can exchange the data between the applications or server or processes in the kafka the sender is known as a producer and the receiver is known as a consumer which is the consume messages by subscribing the particular topic moreover this technology this technology takes place in the conventional message brokers like jms amqp and ability to give high throughput reliability so now we will start with the um, installation of kafka but uh, there are some prerequisites so before installing kafka we require java 8 or further version uh, which is running on your windows machine so this is the first step to install the kafka so you can check via like java minus version yeah so we have like a java version 1.8 running on your, our machine so this is the prerequisite then uh, we need the apache kafka and zookeeper configuration okay so uh, if you refer the previous diagram then for the this kafka ecosystem the zookeeper is required in order to manage the brokers in uh, particular brokers in the kafka ecosystem okay so we need uh, there is only one package but that package having zookeeper also and uh, kafka also okay so what are the steps like a uh, you need kafka installation file so go here in order to download kafka executable file <clears throat> then we can extract this and then uh, like we have to do some configuration okay so let's start the installation process so go to kafka.apache.org and go to downloads here you can see the latest version is 3.2.0 so basically go to this is source file so basically go to downloads and uh, the latest version is 2.13 okay so right click and open it yeah so here like uh, just you have to click on HTTP version of Kafka so it will start downloading yeah so our Kafka is downloaded so go to a downloaded folder then cut this go to the place where uh, you want to store your Kafka executable file so this is the like uh, just a zip file zip version of Kafka so just uh, right click and extract it extract here so uh, yeah, we have to do some configuration so for this we need uh, uh, one folder to be created for maintaining the logs so on c drive create the folder name kafka and inside the kafka like uh, you can create one more folder called zookeeper okay copy this path okay so our kafka is uh, extracted so now uh, like we have to do some configuration so for that like uh, here it is mentioned that like uh, now go to config inside the kafka directory and open zookeeper.property and we have to just uh, change the lo uh, login file okay so go to zookeeper.property right click and it with notepad plus plus and just we have to uh, directory where snapshot is stored so just you have to 
हिस्ट्री वॉट एवर यू हैव कॉपीड सीख आपका जू कीपर सेव इट दिस इज फॉर जू कीपर नाउ काफका यूज दिस प्रॉपर्टी फाइल दैट इज सर्वर डॉट प्रॉपर्टीज सो फॉर दिस ऑल्सो वी नीड टू लाइक चेंज द लॉग इन डायरेक्टरी सो हियर रिमूव द काफका सो सी काफका इज अ लॉग इन डायरेक्टरी सो सेव इट so now we have done with configuration so same for kafka that is done now running the kafka so kafka requires zookeeper to be run first so basically kafka uses zookeeper to manage the entire cluster and its various brokers so therefore it, uh, a running instance of zookeeper is a prerequisite for kafka so to start with zookeeper uh, like uh, we need this command so i will tell you what it is okay so now go to kafka home directory and type the cmd okay okay so we need this command so slash bin windows so it is executed yeah so we are looking for this command slash bin windows zookeeper server dot start and config zookeeper dot property so this property is required for this running this bat file so go to bin windows and this one so zookeeper start and we need this pro configuration file so we have to run this so if we want to stop it then run this command zookeeper server stop and then property file so this way and uh, for running the kafka so you need kafka server start dot bat for stopping the kafka we need kafka server stop dot bat and provided uh, you have configuration file that is a server dot properties okay so we have started the zookeeper let's see what is happening yeah so our zookeeper is started now open the same command prompt again go here Okay, so this is the Kafka home directory. So in the step two, we need another uh, command prompt in order to like uh, start the Kafka server. Okay, so go here and here type cmd, and then just uh, we have to copy this command where we need to start the Kafka. okay so you can see we we need to execute this command bin windows kafka server to start and server dot properties so it is starting kafka yeah so this this broker uh, currently it is started so this is uh, my desktop host name and this is the port number so it is saying startup is complete successfully created a uh, controller epoch file okay so this is started now okay so what now how we can verify it so let's start creating our first topic so now the kafka server is up and running so you can create the topic to store the messages and also we can uh, produce and consume consume the data directly from the command prompt okay so we have to this copy this command in order to okay so go here then again go to another cmd and just we need to create the so kafka topic dot bat create bootstrap server so we need to provide this bootstrap then replication factor 1 so replication factor is a like a <coughs> is it's a configuration where like uh, it is create the backup of uh, your particular topic so that like uh, it is create the replica of that uh, topic so that like if any node goes down then there should be 
one replica so basically that uh, that is useful while uh, while there are multiple brokers of kafka but currently we are having only one broker so and we have the one partition so currently we we are publishing as test messages so number of partition uh, we are giving as a one and this is the create command for topic we are creating this topic topic test okay so it is giving timeout exception so what we can do so instead of local host like we will type the <coughs> the particular uh, host name okay okay so topic test already exist so yeah so we will create topic test one okay so our uh, created topic topic test one so now we will create the producer and we will create the consumer okay so <coughs> creating kafka producer so just we need to use this so what we are doing here so we are using kafka console producer in order to produce the messages so this uh, this is the bad file of windows and then we are giving the broker as local host 9092 and then topic text one okay so what we can do so we can give the topic text one that we have created So what it is doing? So it is uh, like uh, we are creating the producer from the command line. So from command line itself, like we can publish the message. So now you can see uh, see here. So it is giving option to uh, like uh, publish the message. So before that, like uh, we will start the consumer also. So we are using this consumer bat file. So open another command prompt. So we need to change the topic name. Okay, so this is the command where like uh, the consumer is uh, getting started. So we have to use Kafka console consumer dot bat. Then we have to give the bootstrap server where the Kafka is installed, and then we have to give the topic name. And from beginning means uh, it should uh, consume all the messages from beginning whichever the message publish first okay so okay so i will minimize this so that like you will understand it better so this is our consumer and this is our publisher so now verify this windows okay so i will try to produce this message here and uh, in the consumer you will see that is consumed okay so hello kafka i will enter this so you can see here it is printed hello kafka means it is consumed by consumer so this is the consumer console and this is the producer console so this is the producer console so uh, i will uh, type message again real time message 01 you can see here real time message 01 okay so this way like uh, we can publish any messages message 02 you can see here it came the message 02 so like this we can publish the messages so in the real time so your consumer is listening to this particular topic so that like whatever the message is published on publi uh, pu publisher so what that is consumed by consumer yeah so that's it so in the conclusion like uh, we, we learned how to install the kafka along with zookeeper and we learned how to st start and stop the servers additionally we verified the installation by creating the 
topic posting some messages and then consuming uh, same using the console consumer script okay yeah so in this next subsequent session so we will see how we can uh, create the producer and consumer via microservice that is a spring boot microservice and we will create uh, like a configuration in the coding part and that we will see in the next session so thanks for watching